Hi everyone, this is your real estate expert Lance Moore and I want to go over the market report statistics for March of 2017. And before I do, I want to just talk a little bit about how important statistics are, how important this market information is, because there's a lot of first time home buyers out there and there's a lot of brand new real estate agents out there. And a lot of the, not only the public, but even the realtors don't really understand what's going on in the market. And either way, whether you're a buyer or a seller, that could end up costing you money. It's sort of like if you're going to give your money, your retirement money to a financial planner, wouldn't you want them to have a really good grasp of what's going on in the market, in the financial sector? So I would advise everybody who's looking at hiring a real estate agent, whether they're looking at buying a house or selling a house, to get someone who really understands and knows what's going on in the real estate market. Now, with that said, I do owe everybody an apology because last month was the first month I did not put out the housing market report. I actually did it, but then I accidentally typed over the information because I forgot to change the month up top. So I apologize and it's too late now because this is actually raw data coming for directly from our MLS and I have to pull it up on certain dates. So let's just jump forward and March is always just a blistering hot month. It's predominantly, I would say, March, July, and August are probably the three hottest months of the year when it comes to real estate sales. A lot of that is because a lot of people who are looking at getting into a home for summer, you know, before the school starts again, are going to new homes. So it's not only the pre-owned market, but also the new market, and everybody pretty much starts starts getting off the fence in March and you could see if you look up here under active listings right here you could see there's only a difference in 10 more listings in all Hillsborough County um, houses but if you look down here on pending you could see a dramatic jump from 2,512 in January to 3,200 and 43 in March. Now obviously February, January is generally pretty slow. February starts to pick up, but March is really hot. And look at this, sold. I mean, this is unbelievable. 1,823 sold last month. Let's go back and let me just show you um, last March just to give you an idea um, what's going on. So you can't really see it. Um, well, let me move over. Um, so here we are, March of 2016. Um, so it's again, very, very hot, very busy March last year as well. As you could see, it's, it's just a really busy time of the year, a really busy month, one of the hottest out there. And you could look at the supply and inventory level at 2.27 months of inventory. If you go over to the individual statistics, look at this $100,000 to $200,000. I mean, the market's just depleted. 1.2 um, of inventory. So, that I mean, it's, it's just it's staggering. And I know people are having a really hard time. I've even seen people, I've had listings um, half million dollar listings get multiple offers, $400,000 homes get multiple offers. There's just not a lot of homes out there, um, which is why a lot of people are starting to go to the new construction because they're really getting sick of looking at home at 300000 or 400000 and having multiple bids, where when you go out and you look at a new home, if you like the home and you write the contract, you're buying it. You're not dealing with multiple offers, etc. And I'll put a video to a really good um, new construction, um, you know, video I have that'll go over how to save money, basically explain everything from A to Z. But if you have any questions at all about the real estate market and what's going on um, in the Tampa Bay area, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I'd love to help you out. And I wish you the best of luck in buying a home and or selling your home. Have a wonderful day.